Good morning. It's Leanne Peters here. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I'm here to pull some cards and share some guidance for Thursday and Friday. That's the 23rd and the 24th of November 2023. So while you're coming over, I want to send out a big, huge, extra special welcome to my Temple of Balance patrons my Pillar of Light members and all of those of you who support my work through my website. Thank you so much for your support. So I'm coming to you live now from Tasmania, Australia, where it is Thursday the 23rd of November here. And the time is 8.14 a.m. So welcome. It feels weird being in vertical again, but Facebook is still glitched. So our Facebook is glitched. I'll be here uh, in portrait mode, but um, I'm sure it will be fixed some stage in the next year. <laughs> so we'll, we'll just go with the flow for now. So welcome. Hi, Bettina. Uh, if you're new to watching, what I'm going to be doing is using my Speed of Light Oracle cards combined with a deck of 100 card, 110 cards uh, to find the best cards that the majority of us need for Thursday then the best card for Friday, and then the best card for the theme, and then the best card for the theme for Thursday and Friday. Hi, Jens, welcome. Yes, you did come in just at the right time. So uh, take on board what feels right, what resonates, and what fits into your life easily, and let the rest go. So let's see what we need to know for Thursday. So the best card for Thursday for the majority of us is this card. It's a Speed of Light Oracle and the card is Delegate, card 28. And it says Ask, Plan, Organise and Assistance. So this is, well, pretty self-explanatory. Are there tasks and chores that we need to delegate? or assigned to others. Maybe we need to look at the things that we're doing, our everyday things, our obligations and duties versus the things that need to be done or the things that we're, the work that we have to do or the people in our care. And how are we managing all of this stuff that we've got to do right now, especially on Thursday? Have we been feeling under pressure or in other words, stressed out <laughs> uh, because of all this stuff that needs to be done? So there might be someone around us or some people around us that we can ask for help, perhaps delegate some chores to some children, for example. Um, and if there's not, then are there things that can wait? Are there things that don't need to be or have to be done right this second? And maybe they can wait till next week or wait until there is a, a, there's a little bit less on the plate, let's say. So if you've been stressed out because there's of all the things that you've got to do, see if you can back off a little bit, take that pressure off yourself, delegate some chores if appropriate, um, or just put the things that aren't priority, put them off for a little bit. It's not going to matter. Some of those things that we think need to be done today may not, may not really matter if it's done today or tomorrow or next week or the weekend. So let's see how things are going in our life and how we're managing our everyday life pressures. So that's Delegate, card 28. Thank you. Excellent. Good morning, everybody. Hi, Renee. Hi, Valerie and Anita. And Lindsay's here and Karen's here. Welcome to you all. Okay, let's find the best card for Friday, the 24th of November. So Friday the 24th, and the best card is this, another Speed of Light Oracle. And it's Persistence, card 47. It says Patience, Solution, Question, Answer, and Night. This card is reminding us to be patient on Friday. To be patient and persistent. Now is not the time to give up, but actually a time to practice our patience or summon our patience if we need to. Another thing I like to remind myself if it's patience that I'm dealing with is 
that I can trust in perfect timing. If this door hasn't quite opened yet or this thing hasn't progressed yet, then um, is perfect timing involved here? And if, there, if perfect timing is involved and it's just not quite the right time yet, then that allows me to um, slip into my patience a little easier. Um, so be patient, be persistent. Don't give up. Um, there might be a need perhaps for some of us on Friday or even over the weekend or at this time to take a bit of a break if we have been feeling extra pressured or extra stressed out about the things that we've got going on and we don't know how things are going to happen or how things are going to work out. We may need to just take a little step back. That could be a break, but it could be just a step back to assess things, to get perspective um, and to see things for how they really are and not add too much extra pressure or stress to situations, especially if they're already stressful and uh, create enough pressure on their own. So this card's also suggesting or reminding us that an answer is coming or a solution. So we can be patient if we're waiting for this, a solution or an answer as well. Be patient. That Know that the universe is working on uh, bringing that information to us behind the scenes. And um, that, let's keep our dreams alive. Let's keep our goals alive. So quite simple cards, these two. So let's see what the theme's going to be. Thanks for joining me today. I'll be back on Saturday morning early to bring through the guidance for the weekend. So I might see you then. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button. Please show us some love. Please comment Please share if you're inspired to. And if you'd prefer to connect more privately, please send us a message through our website. Um, so if you'd like to learn more about these cards that I created and start working with a deck or two yourself, you can work with them separately or together. You can learn more about them on my website. You can learn more about the pendants that I've made and the earrings and the other card decks. Um, I do spirit guide drawings, intuitive healing sessions if you can't move some energy that you've been stuck with for a while. Um, meditations, there's heaps of things on my website. Please have a look if you're inspired to support my work. Please have a look if you would like to learn more about the work I do here at Temple of Balance. So go to templeofbalance.com.au All right, drum roll for our theme card. So it sort of feels to me like there is this backing off feeling a little bit for Thursday and Friday. We've got the take the pressure off ourselves kind of feeling here. So let's be careful we're not adding to our load by adding more pressure and getting stressed out when we don't really need to be as stressed out as we've been. So there's this sense of instead of pushing forward and adding to the burden, let's settle back and go with the flow a little bit more. There's that sort of feeling here for both days. So the best theme card that will add more to this, the theme card for Thursday and Friday, that's the 23rd and 24th of November, is this. It's another Speed of Light. So Speed of Light cards are quite intense cards and very direct and quite uh, to the point. There's no mucky around, there's no fluffing around the edges with the Speed of Light Oracle. So we're getting quite direct energy that's coming in. Ah, and we've got Twin Flame come up for Thursday and Friday. That's card 39. And it says, Union, Love, Togetherness, Equal and Effort. So this, uh, first of all, highlights relationships around Thursday and Friday. Now, because there is this sort of stress and pressure that's uh, energy that's come in for the days, there might be a highlight that some of the stress, some of the pressure, some of the patience that's required could be around our closest relationship. Um, so we'll keep that in mind if we've got some tension or something that's going on there. Um, and this is especially, I feel, if we haven't resolved or cleared the air with all the communication cards that came up for earlier in the week. If some of those issues were focused around our closest, the closest person or people in our life, and we didn't heed that, we didn't speak up when we needed to speak up or clear the air and get some um, energy moving on the communication front, then there may be some extra pressure that sort of comes in around our, our most intimate relationship 
or ships on uh, Thursday and Friday. There's also this sense with this card of seeing eye to eye with, uh, with another person or with others. So there is a sense of getting onto the same page. So if we can take the pressure off and release the burdens and get a little, ease a little bit more into the flow and find a little bit more patience with ourselves and our life and with others, we might find that that also synchronizes us up with um, our most intimate uh, relationship. Now I'm talking about like a partner, like a husband or a wife or a partner of some sort that perhaps someone we live with or that we're very close to. But also people basically that we share our house with. So it could be children, there could be other people that are in your intimate space that are also close relationships. So um, it might not just be a partner or um, your most intimate relationship that you share your life, your life partner, let's say. It could be basically people in your home is what I'm thinking because we sort of live with and we're under each other's feet or we're in each other's lives when we're living with someone. It could be a partner, but it might be a parent. You might be living with a parent, for example, or some relative or a friend. These are still people in close proximity to you. So working with these people, the closest people in our life, and looking at how we can release the pressure that we feel with them, or the pressure that, um, or the burdens that are somehow linked, can help us lock together eye to eye. And it's much more pleasant, let's say, uh, to share a life with people or someone who we are on the same page with. So I feel like the theme being let's get on the same page as those people we share our life, uh, life with at this time. There is effort required, effort in relationships. This has been coming up to, I've been talking about this in the report and on various Facebook posts over the last couple of days. I do feel this is so important is to put effort into our relationships. And I'm not talking just about the closest ones now. I'm talking about all relationships, friendships, family, extended people that we might not even live in the, uh, nearby. Um, let's put extra effort into on Thursday and Friday to stay connected with people that are important to us because we all know how fast time goes. And before we know it, a few months pass, six months pass, years pass, and then we haven't seen or spoken to this person for a long time through no reason except for time. Or if there is a reason and it's some type of burden or some, some stress that you feel, it might be important to clear the air as we continue that communication energy through from earlier in the week. So put in the extra effort for those relationships. Um, also the extra effort that you need to tend to your relationship with yourself. And for the most part that tends to include or involve listening, listening to how we feel and listening to what's going on for us so we can determine clearly what that is and then we can more easily communicate that with others externally. So twin flame, love, union, togetherness, a great couple of days to nurture and honour our relationships um, with our partner or the, our closest ones. So let's see how we go. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great couple of days and I'll see you on Saturday. Take care and bye for now. Thanks for watching.